Well, when you call an ambulance, you expect it to get there fast. A WVLT news investigation shows that's not always happening in Knox County. Good evening. Glad you're with us tonight for WVLT News at 6. I'm Casey Wheelis. I'm Ted Hall. Glad you're here, folks. The county's contract with AMR, American Medical Response, is up. There are currently bids from four companies, including AMR. WVLT requested the data through hundreds of documents, including emails. We uncovered complaints and numbers showing just how serious things are. Hundreds of pages of data, including complaints and concerns about the ambulance service in Knox County. One complaint from an officer at the Knox County Regional Forensic Center said there was a body lying outside for over 12 hours and a pedestrian for six or seven hours. Other complaints share a similar concern, people waiting hours for an ambulance because there were none to send. WVLT asked the county for the number of level zeros for 2023. A level zero means there are no ambulances available. So far this year, it's happened more than 1,800 times, 555 times in September alone. And when there's no ambulance, someone still responds, usually a firefighter or a police officer. In some cases, they're taking patients to the hospital themselves. The Knoxville Police Department says officers are transporting people to the hospital on a weekly basis. Now, we're not really supposed to do that, okay. but if we're in a situation where someone is in life or death and there's no EMS available, we're going to do whatever we can to make sure that person um, gets the help they need. The fire department says they know of at least four times since August. We spoke to Knox County Mayor Glenn Jacobs. The issue is wait times at hospitals, what they call wall time. That's how long it takes to unload uh, patients. American Medical Response says their ambulances get held up at hospitals that are short staffed and they can't offload their patients. In fact, the county hired a consulting firm to look at the current contract and what needs to be fixed. It says hospital wall times average 53 minutes per transport. That's 40 minutes above normal. No, the county brought in a consulting firm that found problems with the current contract as it is right. with AMR. Um, what steps are you all taking to rectify that as you look at these new bids? When we, the new contract will include things like it's more performance based uh, and those sort of things, um, as well as and even the contract in the executive summary, I think point number three says that with the hospital wall times that that's going to become challenging for anybody. Matt Myers, the county's director of procurement, tells us it's not just one thing that's the issue. Everybody's short staffed right now, and we've just you know got to figure out a way for the provider to be able to change that model and get those staffing numbers back up so we can have enough ambulances on the road to respond to what they need to. Now, we did reach out to the main hospital systems here in Knox County, Covenant, Tonova, and UT Medical Center to ask about those wait times at ERs. None of them gave us a statement. The county hopes to have a recommendation on which company they want to use to bring before commission in November.